Hi, my name is Sergi in the novel of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck, 102 Minutes by Jim Dwyer and Kevin Flynn, The Poem to a Mouse by Robert Burns and the movie The Fifth Wave, all give an interesting interpretation of fate. To begin with, these examples all show that there is no such thing as fate. However, The choices that an individual makes causes the outcomes of what happens to them. For starters, in the novel of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck, Lenny had a bad habit of touching and feeling random items that were furry. This led him to touch things that he shouldn't have and cause problems for him and others. His actions ultimately led to the negative impact on others and himself since he made choices that led to something bad. This example, dumb bastard like he is, he wants to touch everything he likes, just wants to feel it. Steinbeck 41 This showcases that as George and Slim discussed Lenny, it was determined that Lenny decided to do actions despite knowing the consequences that would occur. These actions further led to his death at the end of the novel. Next, the quote, he can't think of nothing to do himself, but he sure can take orders. Steinbeck 39 This shows that Lenny is not capable of thinking about that, what he must complete on his own, yet will listen to others' orders leading him to trouble in the future due to the fact that he was not capable of acknowledging how to do things by himself. Overall, he constantly made decisions that caused bad reactions to himself. Secondly, in the novel 102 Minutes by Jim Dwyer and Kevin Flynn, it can be determined that during this tragic event, people had the option to save themselves or save others. Their split-second decisions determine the outcome of their lives. First off, the example of what happened to the police officer, where a police officer stood at the door watching overhead for the falling debris. Okay, he'd say, and a few people would dash across the street. Dwyer and Flynn, 172. This expresses that the officer's actions gave potential victims an opportunity to evacuate the building safely and for a chance at survival. When the people decided to take this opportunity at survival, they were able to control their potentially tragic outcome of death. Then the example regarding Stephen Miller stating, He had almost gone back upstairs, but he had not felt completely right about it, so he turned around and left. Dwyer and Flynn, 168. This showcases that he was aware that he had gone back up. He was putting his own life at stake, so he decided to evacuate instead. He was able to control the outcome of this tragic situation through his actions. When looking at the poem to a mouse by Robert Burns, it can be determined that this poem includes instances where the mouse made decisions about whether or not to give up on what was happening to him. His reactions to these moments helped develop and his choices made further influences about what happened to him next. The example, I will get a blessing with what is left and never miss it, burns. This represents that during this moment, the mouse was starting to lose everything. Though he had made a choice to not dwell on what he didn't have and be grateful for what he did have, this choice ultimately led to the idea that he was able to then make it through this rough patch in his life and continue on. The next example stating, and leaves us nothing but grief and pain for promised joy, burns, shows that once again, as the mouse was losing everything, he made a decision to stay motivated despite the grief he felt. This decision to stay motivated opened up opportunities that promised him benefits. If he hadn't chosen to stay motivated, he could have ended up finding himself in a worse situation than before. 
Lastly, in the movie The Fifth Wave, showcases multiple instances where people make decisions that leads to what happens to them. For starters, at the beginning of the movie, Cassie is seen shooting a man holding a cross. Cassie shot the man thinking that it was a weapon. This was the first person she had killed, and she had done so thinking it was self-defense. This example showcases how Cassie was seen making decisions for herself that helped her increase her chance at survival. Without these moments, Cassie would not have been able to save herself in order to save her brother at the end of the movie. Secondly, towards the end of the movie, Evan was seen placing bombs throughout the building that was holding all of the children hostage. After the evacuation of the building, he set them off to diminish any d information or hurt anyone bad within the building. Since Evan decided to place these bombs within the facility, it created an opportunity for Cassie, her brother, and Ben to make it out without being noticed at first. If Evan did not do this, Cassie and the others would not have been able to make it out and survive. After looking at all of the examples, it can be concluded that people's decisions determine their outcome. One choice an individual makes can alter their future, whether that is for the better or for the worse.